I won't get you wet. Scrub it, gook. Fish envy. <laughs> you see where I gaffed him and it ripped out? He, we lost him back into the water. Oh, man. And I had to re-gaff him. It's all right. My gaffing skills are a little rusty there. I don't get to gaff very often. It's all right. He's on the dinner plate. Show us how you slice these bad boys. First thing up. I do, make a cut right down that yonder there. Next thing I do, I'll get right along on top of that dorsal fin, and I'll make a real shallow cut, about a half an inch, all the way down, and then connect it all the way up to your first cut. Then. I like to outline the bottom, leave a little belly on in case you like to save the bellies for sword fishing. Just make one shallow slice right along the back there. Do a little slice in the back. Then you're just gonna slowly work that knife along the backbone about one inch at a time. And Jake, you can watch this to learn. And just get, just inch at it until you feel that pin bone on the back of your knife and now I'm starting to feel that pin bone I'm gonna flip it around actually for the, for the sake of taking video I'll do it at this angle I'm gonna start deepening my cut this way don't hit me a little inch or two going this way keep working the way up. up there and then once I've hit the pin bone from this side I know I'm almost done and then I angle the knife up a little bit, almost so it's coming off the wahoo. Mm. And then I cut one cut right above that pin bone. And then I flip it around. Hold on. One cut right above that pin bone. It should connect the other one. And it's pretty much off there now. Now I can just kind of help, help it off where it needs to be. Boom. And that's how you fillet a walk. that fillet, baby. And what a surgeon. That yeah. gaff shot right there, we will cut that out. That's uh, the captain's fault. <laughs> gaff from where you can. Nice and nice. A little boing wahoo. Let's take this from this angle now. Oh, yeah, the pretty side. I just heard the magic word. <laughs> you want you want to take home some pieces? I uh, just one little loin so I can make some sushi it would be great. Yeah, same with uh, Jake. Sweet man. Yeah, you guys will still have a pile after that. Don't cook it. We're feeding four. Four? Yeah. All right. And I assume you want to try some king too, right? Or do you not even want the king now? I'll take it. Yeah, no, we can cook. All right, cool. Because the king is actually probably better to cook all the way through. The wahoo, you just want to sear it. Right. Or, or eat the sushi. Or don't waste your time and just cut it. Cut it and eat it. sushi any day. Uh huh. And if you're going to do sushi, a lot of times the adrenaline comes out of the meat overnight and it becomes softer overnight. But. You need to take that call, Will? No, sir. Dad, uh, do you think I should take some of the scrap and make stock? Nah, I mean, that's up to you. I don't... Your mom would like it when she's down. I don't know. I wouldn't waste your time with her. Oh. Didn't miss much there, Cap. Catch of the day. Yo, Chris. Here you go. Go ahead. All right. Now I'm going to take the rib cage out. I'm going to make an incision right above the rib cage. Then kind of peel it back with my fingers. So I can try and recover as much of that meat as possible. There we go. Nice. Discard that piece. 
Rantana piranha. And then I'll cut them into six inch slabs. And then you just flip them around, run the knife right down the on the other side of the bloodline. You got a clean loin. Beautiful. Oh no. Let's see that skin. There's the dirty. Nothing dirty. left on her. Nothing <laughs> left. This knife is in perfect shape right now. It's not too sharp and not too dull. Might be too sharp to be a problem. Hey, cut through the skin. Yeah. 